So in this video, we're going to learn how to do ray tracing and imaging for an object through a diverging lens. And so let's say that the diverging lens has a focal length of negative 20 centimeters. And diverging lenses always have negative focal lengths. That's sort of how you know they're a diverging lens. And let's say that our object distance is 40 centimeters away from the lens. So our object is real, it's on the left hand side of the lens, it's got a positive value, our lens is diverging, it's got a negative focal length. And let's say that we want to find the rays in this, or at least some rays in this system. We want to find where the image is located, so DI. We want to find the magnification and whether the image is real or virtual. Now, let's say I'm not super practiced with diverging lenses. I'm not sure whether the image is going to be real or virtual, and I'm not entirely sure where the rays should, should go. So let's start out by figuring out what di is, and we can use our favorite imaging equation that 1 over f is equal to 1 over di plus 1 over do. And if we solve for di, we'll get that di is 1 over f minus 1 over do, all inverted. Now we know f, it's negative 20 centimeters. We know do, it's 40. And so if we plug those in, 1 over negative 20 centimeters minus 1 over 40 centimeters, all inverted. Because these are both negative, they'll add together, or they'll add in their magnitudes. And once you simplify this, you'll find that di is equal to negative 40 over 3 centimeters. So this is di. Now, because this is a negative image length, that means that the image is going to be located to the left of the lens. It's going to be a virtual image, not a real image. So we know di. While we're at it, we can calculate the magnification using our equation for a single lens, which is just negative di over do. So here di is negative 40 over 3 centimeters, and do is 40 centimeters. And there's a negative sign all out front, so the two will cancel and give us a positive sign. And this will end up, the centimeters will cancel 40s cancel, and so our magnification is one-third. So we know almost everything we, were, we set out to find. Now all we need to do is the ray tracing. So I'll clean this up a little bit so that we can trace out our rays. Now when I'm doing ray tracing, I always choose the same two rays, assuming I'm trying to find an image. The first one I choose is one that goes from the top of the object straight at the lens. And the reason is that this ray, we know exactly where it will go. Because this is a diverging lens, the ray will diverge away. And we can figure out the angle by tracing it back to the focal length. And so our focal length was negative 20 centimeters. And so this should be negative 20 centimeters. And the ray will go out like this and off into the sunset. Now the second ray, I always choose to go straight through the center of the lens. So the reason for that is because if a ray goes straight through the center, it doesn't change its direction. So the angle is the same when it comes out as when it went in. And so it's, it's relatively easy to find where these two rays go. Now if you haven't dealt with a diverging lens, you might be very uncomfortable right now because you might say, wait, hold on, our rays are going away from each other. They're never intersecting. And indeed, that is what will happen if you have a virtual image. So these two rays never intersect. The light will never reconstitute itself into a real image on this side. But if I took my eyes and I looked straight at this lens, and you can actually do this as an experiment, it's, it's really quite a, a trip. If you looked at this, what you would see is an image of a little arrow right here at this location because if you just look at the diverging lens it looks like just from this ray and this ray 
if you back those out to a certain location, it looks like the rays are both coming from this position right here. And so this is our image and it's what's called, this is our image. And this is called a virtual image. And it's virtual because it's only apparent. The rays never actually intersect each other. They just look like they're leaving from that location. Now, does this all make sense? Is this, cons is this ray tracing consistent with what we found in our previous uh, equation? So we see that our image appears to be located uh, a little less than 20 centimeters let's say like, uh, I don't know, that looks like maybe 14 or 13 or something. And that's about what we expected. We expected it to be at minus 13.3 roughly. Uh, and similarly, we expected the magnification to be one third and positive. So the image should be pointing in the same direction as the object, which it is. And it should be about a third the size, which we see it is. So we're pretty confident that we've done this ray tracing correctly. And in fact, if you have a real object, so an object which is on the left-hand side of the lens, this will always result in a virtual image. So it'll always result on an image the same side as the object, an image that isn't really there, but looks like it is if you look at it, if you infer where the rays are leaving from. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind the scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.